Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. And I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for Thursday, August the 16th, 2018. Well, let's jump in and take a look and see what's happening with the uh, markets today. And you can see here on the Dow, we had a gap up. In fact, it was a huge gap up and we uh, continued up uh, closing near high. So if you look at the spread we went uh, in, in one day, we uh, made a, you know, from beginning of yesterday to the close of today, a tremendous amount of travel in the diamonds. Uh, you know, so if we back the chart out a little bit though, you can see we're right up here at resistance. So like we've been talking about, it's gonna be important to get some follow through on this. We did have large volume, so uh, hopefully that's a good sign. Uh, you know, of course, everybody is uh, looking at this as a very bullish move, uh, which uh, it uh, hopefully will prove to be uh, in coming days. The spiders uh, look much the same. Uh, did pull back a little bit more. You can see here when we're spread out, you know, we keep uh, coming on the top. We keep getting these... Uh, wicks at the top but we had this nice hammer candle and now we've got this big topping wick here so uh you know once again it's going to be important to get some follow through tomorrow you can see here above average volume on the spiders iwm we uh, gapped up you know we did pull back a little bit as the day went on but we still closed uh you know much higher than we closed yesterday so uh, that's good now that's a little bit below average volume on the iwm the ibb you know uh we uh you know just about to, to where we opened yesterday out so the ibb did very well today very low volume though on it the Qs. now this is a red candle but actually it, it's a gain because we closed yesterday down here you know, uh, you know, at the 179 and uh, some change mark, and we closed uh, up higher, but because of the gap up and the pullback, it, it shows up on our charting as a red candle. But the Qs did close up for the day. TLT, we have a big hammer candle there, so it, uh, you know, ran the stops in the morning and then it, uh, you know, continued back up. We we do have a cross of the uh, moving averages here, the 50 above the uh, 20, uh, you know, uh, and we're approaching the 200, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, that was on uh, just below average volume, and GLD, you know, uh, pulled back a, a little bit more, uh, not a major pullback, uh, but uh, it, it did pull back. So that's how we looked on the uh, market update. Now let's take a quick look at Holly and see how she did today. Uh, you know, and Holly Grill had 22 trades on the day, profit of 67 cents. Risk on profit was 389. So uh, Holly Grill did very very well. Holly 2.0 376 profit, but only a dollar 43. And you can see the volatility here. And the histogram on on the ones that she picked and you can see how many strategies she had to uh, pick from and if you look here at the win percentage today on how many of them she had a hundred percent winners and she only had two with losing uh, percentages uh, you know buyer stepping in and power shower power hour short and uh, you know so uh, the holly 2.0 you know, you know, did very well. And Holly Neo, 25 trades, 78 cent profit, $5.05 risk on profit. And you can see here what a nice uh, histogram this is, just continually working up, a little pullback, working up, a pullback, you know, uh, you know, higher highs and higher lows all the way up. So uh, looked very, very nice there. And uh, so the way it all shook out for the day was we had 85 trades. We had uh, profit of 521, risk on profit of uh, 1037. So for the week, that leaves us with 274 trades, 676 profit, 
1977 risk on profit. So, uh, you know, Holly is uh, having a very, very good week. And we'll take a look now at some of the individual trades that, that went into this. Uh, SRE was the best uh, risk uh, off trade. Uh, and uh, she made 64 cents in that. She got out because of a timed exit. And once again, if you would use the man with machine that we always talk about, okay, you know, if we interacted a little bit and held that, we could have made a dollar forty-six profit for the day. And let's see, and there was actually one with better risk on profit. And this is a case where we've talked about before. She actually broke even on the trade itself because the stock pulled back a little bit. But then it started going up after that. So uh, $1.52 risk on, but break even on the actual trade itself. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and look at Holly 2.0 and see how she did there. And here we have a little bit of the opposite on STAA. This was a long, and she got in it. And, uh, you know, first she made a dollar because it went up and then the stock pulled back and you ended up losing 47 cents on the risk on mode so once again this is a case where uh, you you needed to and, and, and these are the 15 minute charts if uh, i'm sure if we uh, show you a uh, you know if we go to the one minute chart real fast here you know uh, you can see where you could have uh, got out of this trade you know uh, you know before it pulled all the way back so uh you know we'll go ahead back to the 15 minute chart but uh you know uh, you've uh got to uh to just keep an eye on uh you know everything and you know interact with the uh, software to, to make the best decision ps was her best risk on trade 20 cents profit once again this was a long trade and if you had held it a dollar 34 and you can see it was just a gradual all the rest of the day, but uh, you know, you know, did close very nice. Had this little uh, jump right at the very end, and now we'll go ahead into the Holly Grail. And once again, just to remind you, you can look over here and you can see the number of trades she had and her uh, profit on on each strategy. So this one here we had PETQ. If you remember this one yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, she, she called it uh, short in a, a different strategy and uh, did very well on it. After it went up, it, it, it came back down. And now today, it uh, you know, she called it and it, it went up and up and up and up. In fact, it, had you got out up in here somewhere, you could have done very, very nice. And it did pull back. So a dollar profit because she hit the target and 275 is where it ended up risk on. But you could have done much, much better. And uh, yes, that was the best in both categories. Now we'll uh, and I, yep, and, and and I've been through all three of them already. So that is our uh, Holly update for today. And and I just want to show you this link. Uh, and I'll put this in the uh, YouTube comments so you can uh, copy and paste it in. But if you would like to learn a little bit more about Holly. Uh, the artificial intelligence engine we use, uh, you know, uh, you know, you can go to this link right here, and you can uh, get some more information about her, and you know, just you know, see if it's something you want to uh, get involved with a little bit more, just learn more about her. So uh, here is a link here. There, there's uh, no charge to go to there. There's no commitment on your part. So uh, you know, hey, check her out, see what you think. And I would like to invite you to follow me on my blog at bullseyetrader.com. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter or StockTwits. If you like this video, go ahead hit that thumbs up. And if it's the first time you're seeing this video, go ahead hit the uh, you know subscribe button there. That way you can uh, follow me uh, all the time and never miss a video. And hey, I want to thank you for watching today and God bless.